What's going on, y'all? What I've noticed recently with me, and I got to share this with y'all, man. My tolerance for bullshit has just gone so far down. It's on a big-ass decline, a giant decline. Ain't nobody safe either. Friends, family, it don't matter who it is, ain't nobody safe. And we all know that some friends are seasonal, some friends are long-term, and I love my family members, but at the end of the day, nobody's safe. If you bought that bullshit, I can't fuck with you. I can't. I gotta cut you off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people talk about who's real, who's this, who's that. Man, at the end of the day, you know what a real person is? A real nigga, whatever you want to call it. You know what that is? At the end of the day, and you can say when you go to sleep, when you thought about all the things that happened in that day, and you can say, okay, all my actions, everything that I said align with who I am and my character. When you can say that honestly and truthfully, when you judge yourself based off of something you just did, like, damn, I should have did that. When you correct yourself, when you only speaking from yourself, your true self, and you ain't got to worry about pleasing other people, that's when you're a real person. That's when you're a real nigga. Fuck trying to please everybody else. I don't give a fuck about trying to fit in with no fucking body. I'm not going to associate myself with people like that. I don't associate myself with people that's just you know, waking up day to day like, yo, I wonder how I'm going to get paid today. I wonder how I'm going to pay my bills today. I wonder this. I wonder that. No, nigga, you better have a plan together. You are who you hang around. You're a product of your environment. Both of those are well-known sayings. But a lot of people don't really act on it. Because if they did, it'd be a lot less bullshit in this world today. And obviously, in my opinion, it's just getting more prevalent with the amount of fake people out here. Guys, y'all got to cut off these people that's just... And not just saying fake. I'm not just saying fake, y'all. The real question is, where's your ambition at? Where does your ambition lie? You know, like, what are y'all out here trying to do, man? Y'all trying to be successful? Y'all want to y'all wanna make something out of yourselves? Because you got to stop fucking with those people that just satisfied with just staying in the same complacent job, same pay, bullshit, and don't want to do nothing with their life. Get rid of those people. Get rid of them all. You got to go. You got to go. I can't have you in. You can't infringe on my. And, and it's not just like you. It's not like you physically holding me back. Mentally, you're a stress on me. Mentally, you just aren't on my level. So I can't fuck with you. I can't fuck with you. I expect my close friends, the people in my circle, to call me out if I'm acting out of character. I expect the people that I fuck with to let me know when, you know what I'm saying, something I did or said wasn't right. And when you're able to take a step back and not just be like, yo, when you're able to take a step back and not be defensive about the shit and you understand, okay, well, let me take a step back. Hold up. You know what? He's right about that. I did. I did fuck that up. When you can do that, that's, that's a good, not only is that a good friend because he's giving you constructive criticism, you also a real person because you can take a step back and critique yourself. So, you know, fuck all that bullshit with these freaking, you know, it, it's crazy because even, even my level of acquaintance, like it's friends and then there's like acquaintances that you can fuck with sometimes. Nigga, my, <laughs> my scale for a freaking acquaintance is too high for most of these people, even an acquaintance. So if I see your ass in public, don't be surprised if I walk by you and don't say shit. Because I don't care. I don't care. I am too focused. I got way too many things going on to be worried about somebody that's still at level one with all the bullshit that they got going on in their life. You still out here chasing these hoes. You still out here trying to figure out what you're trying to do in life. But how long have you been doing that? What progress have you made? I'm not about people that just talk a bunch of shit. You got to be about some shit. So if you want to sit here and have fun and don't pay your bills, when your electricity go out, that's on your ass. 
Now, if you come to me and ask me, okay, you got this, you got that, I'm gonna give whatever I can give. I'm not finna put myself in a bind, but I'm gonna give what I can give. But don't get mad at me when I'm not able to give anything. If I ain't got it, I ain't got shit. Real talk. So you can miss me with the guilt trip, any of that bullshit. I cannot stand guilt trips. Anyways, let's give a scenario on the lighter side, though. Let's say you out here in the club and your homeboy is dancing with a fat hoe. He had too many drinks. He dancing with some fat bitches. Now, you looking fresh. You looking good. You looking very high value. The only thing is perception is key. I said this before. Perception is everything. So guess what these fine hoes that walk by and they see you, guess what they already peep if you're associated with this guy? You are associated with the guy that danced with fat hoes. So he's already lowered your market value off rip. You are who you hang around. That's that's just one aspect already. So so even if from a light situation like even from a light situation like that, you can tell that that shit matters. Cause maybe to you it didn't affect your game at all. It didn't affect how confident you were, obviously, right? But what are these people seeing on the outside? So I'm not gonna be affiliated not only with someone that ain't about shit. I ain't gonna be affiliated with somebody that's y'all already know not to be affiliated with simp niggas. I just threw that example out there. At the same time, that nigga get cut off. Nigga ain't about shit get cut off. It's really time to buckle down on these. Uh, these people out here that ain't got shit going on need to go. They just need to go, bro. You're going to have to get up, get out of my way. Do not try to stifle my path. You are not in the way, bro. You got to get out the way. I'm not fucking with it. There's a reason why I can't go some places. There's a reason why I can't see some people, even family members. You know why? Because it's like crabs. People are like crabs sometimes, man. Y'all got to be able to distinguish between the people who are out here that are actually lifting you up or at least on the same level and trying to get lifted up just like you, just like you, or the people that are out here just mooching off of people and, you know, Getting food here, getting this there, getting this there, getting that here. Crabs. Straight crabs. I'm not fucking with them. The only thing you're doing is bringing people down. If you aren't aware of how you complaining and being about nothing affects other people, then I can't fuck with you. Be self-aware. How the fuck? Where's your ambition at, man? Where's your ambition? I can't fuck with people that ain't about nothing. If you ain't trying to make yourself better, if you ain't trying to get something done, if you're not trying to get something out of life, more than what you got now, more than what you had in your past when you was growing up, because that's my ambition. I ain't going back to that shit, ever. I will never be like that. That's my drive. If I don't see that in you, I probably, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna fuck with you, but I got a certain respect for people that I see that in. I got a certain respect for people that are driven for their goals. I can respect you. You might not be able to get no females or anything. I might not fuck with you in that aspect, but if I see that you're goal driven and from a professional standpoint, bro, you after your shit, that's what else can I say? Maybe that other side will come. Maybe you'll stop the beta traits. Maybe you'll learn not to be a simp nigga. I don't know what that case is gonna be. This was just a rant, man, because this shit, man, this, this shit is crazy, man. You notice some things when you start working hard and you start seeing things come to fruition. You start seeing things progress and how people start to change on you, how people start to act on you. This shit is crazy. Like, if I ain't got time to put towards my passion and what I want to do, what makes you think I'm going to be out here fucking with your ass? Really, though. Really. Really think about that. Where are your priorities? Y'all gotta have set priorities. Y'all gotta have a drive to get somewhere. Fuck all that fake shit. Fuck all this here in the now crap. Yeah, I'll be here in the now when it's time to have fun. When it's time to play, I'ma have fun. Every other time though, when I'm working, I'm working, I'm grinding. I'm not bullshitting with these people, man. I hope that y'all, the younger crowd is not affected by that. I know it's like, 
you know, from when I was a kid, wasn't that long ago compared to now, but even the differences in this generation, I can already tell. Like a lot of y'all just about, y'all grow up way too fucking fast. Some of y'all grow up way too fast, man. Some of y'all just need to take a step back in the right direction. It's nothing wrong with that as long as you're doing it the right way. If you out here just trying to be popular and doing it for other people, you doing it for the sake of just the culture of being liked by a bunch of people, like, fuck that, bro. Do it for yourself. Don't be about anybody else. Be about yourself. Fuck all the rest of that shit. If you got a passion, work towards it. That's it. You got people telling you that that shit ain't finna work out. You got people telling you that you should try this. You should try that. Fuck them and continue to pursue it. If you decide to change your mind, let it be you that changed it. Not anybody else convincing you to do it. I had plenty of people telling me not to do this, not to do that. And I continue to do it. And when I'm successful at it, I don't hear shit from them. You know why? Because they was wrong. They don't even want to hear. They don't even want to see me because you know I'm going to call them out on that shit. I can't wait to rub it in your damn face. Don't even come to the same gym. I'm telling you, go to a different gym, bro. Go across the street. Don't go to the same mall, bro. Don't go to the same club, bro. You better not be fucking with the same hoes, bro. Because I will call you out on that shit. Y'all, I hope y'all out here trying to succeed, bro. Figure out where your ambition lies. I know it's a little rant, but shit. Sometimes it's good to have a little different content on the channel. It is what it is. Man, y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all be easy. Stay blessed up. Deuces.